Whether you are trying out a new diet or just want to have a healthier eating habit this year, one of the foods that can assist you are walnuts. They do not just offer a delicious flavor, but can also give you many health benefits. They are a good source of protein, healthy fats, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Plus, they can also be eaten in many ways. You can enjoy them raw, roasted, or chopped and added to salads, yogurt, or other dishes. In today's Lord Gizmo video, we will take a look at how this walnut farm harvests millions of walnuts. But before that, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. These hundreds and thousands of walnut trees did not just appear here overnight. They were planted with patience and care. The process starts with cultivating the seedlings at the nursery. This is to ensure that factors like temperature, nutrition, hydration and more are controlled to give the seedling an optimum growth. A few moments before the seedlings get ready for transplanting, the farmers begin to prepare the land. They do this with the help of these machines that till the soil and bear holes on each of the rows. They also make sure to add in wooden sticks to support the growth of each tree. Then, they start planting the seedlings one by one. Water is needed for plants to grow. In order to supply a consistent amount of hydration to hundreds or thousands of walnut trees, farms often employ an irrigation system. This farm uses the concept of drip irrigation systems for efficient water usage. This involves dripping water onto the soil at very low rates from a system of small diameter plastic pipes fitted with outlets called emitters or drippers. Once the trees are big enough, the farmers prune them to give them better light penetration, air circulation and nut production. In the case of large-scale farms like these, mechanical trimming of the trees is done since it is more effective. They have these machines that go through the rows of walnut trees to cut off branches that exceed a specific size. Then, they have another machine that helps them clean up after the trim. After a few years, the walnut tree will start to produce fruits. Since they have a lot of trees to cover in a limited time, they use machines like this tree shaker to harvest the walnuts. These huge instruments attach a clamp to the trunk of the tree and produce strong vibrations that shake the tree as a whole. In order to maximize nut removal and minimize damage to branches and the tree itself, the shaker operator carefully regulates the strength and duration of shaking. After being shaken, the fallen nuts are swept by specialized mechanical sweepers into windrows. This makes collection simpler. Before they do this, they make sure to check if the walnuts are ready. They do that by taking a sample from the trees. Once the green outer layer of the walnut starts to dry out and can easily be detached from the shell, that is when they know the trees are ready to be shaken. To collect the nuts, they use a mechanical harvester that moves along the windrows and collects the nuts with its conveyor belts or vacuum systems. This picking up process also assists in knocking off the loose hull from the nuts. Then, walnuts will be unloaded via a conveyor belt to transfer them to a trailer. This will be the vehicle that will transfer this batch of walnuts to the processing facility. Once they arrive, they unload the walnuts to this pit that leads them to another conveyor belt. During this part, the workers will also slowly sort out and remove the debris and unwanted materials in the batch. Once the walnuts get unloaded, 
they are moved to this conveyor belt that goes upward. It will continue moving, which also helps in the sorting process, until it reaches the huller. Harvested walnuts might contain debris or immature nuts. Sorting systems remove these before hulling to prevent damage or contamination. A walnut hulling drying facility processes harvested walnuts, transforming them from their green, outer-hulled state into the familiar dry, shelled nuts ready for consumption or further processing. They primarily use huller machines to do so. These machines are tasked to separate the green fleshy outer hull from the hard inner shell. Different types of hullers exist, like mechanical disc hullers or water-based flume hullers. Each utilizes various techniques to remove the hull efficiently. In this video, they have used a water huller which uses water jets to separate the husk. Then, they go to a sorting table. In this area, there will be three workers tasked to sort the walnuts by hand. Then, they are moved to another area where they will be dried. Freshly hulled walnuts have a high moisture content, making them susceptible to mold and spoilage. Drying reduces moisture to a safe level, which is around 6 to 8%. There are different methods of drying walnuts, and one of them is using mechanical dryers. This means that they use heated air to circulate around the walnuts, efficiently removing moisture. To make sure that they do not get overly dried, their moisture content will continuously be checked by the workers of the facility. After visually inspecting the product, they will be moved to this part of the facility where they will be sorted by size. There are many ways to do this, but one of the most effective ways is through the help of gravity. They load the nuts on this big container with different sizes of holes. The purpose of these holes is to let the smaller walnuts fall down so they are left with those that fit their standards. The holes on the surface or screens with progressively smaller gaps allow different sized nuts to fall through at different points. Let us now proceed to the shelling process of the walnuts and this is done through cracking them. For large scale operations, mechanized crackers are the most common method. These machines utilize various techniques to apply controlled pressure and crack the shells without damaging the delicate kernels inside. These use rapidly moving beaters or hammers to crack the shells. In this case, their machines have cylinders that allow the walnuts to move along. They are also programmed to be gentle when it comes to de-shelling so they do not damage the kernels. After that, a series of sorting systems separate the kernels from the shell fragments and any remaining pieces of hull.
Walnuts are versatile, which means that different versions of walnuts will be in demand in the market. To make sure which kernel goes into what product, they do a series of quality control tests. Some kernels will go into stacking, while some are perfect for food manufacturing. This is usually determined by their visuals and overall quality. Pasteurizing walnuts involves applying heat or other treatments to eliminate harmful bacteria like Salmonella, E. coli, and Listeria that can sometimes be present on the shells or inside the nuts. Walnuts are exposed to a controlled stream of hot steam for a short duration, eliminating bacteria while minimizing moisture absorption and flavor changes. It can also be done through roasting, where walnuts are roasted at a high temperature for a longer duration. This facility uses laser sorters to size the kernels and put them in their respective bins. Then, they will be sent to this area for the final quality check. This process is done by skilled and trained workers that manually sort the walnuts. They will look for imperfections or damaged kernels and separate it from the group to make sure that they only distribute high-quality ones. Once that is done, they start packaging the walnuts. Since there are different uses for walnuts, this facility also made sure that they are able to pack them into different sizes and weights. Then, they will prepare these packs of walnuts for shipping and wider distribution. This has been Lord Gizmo, and we hope you learned a thing or two. Before you leave, please don't forget to show this video some love by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we have new uploads. You can also tell us in the comments section what videos you want us to feature next. Oh, and you might want to check out our separate video on how millions of peanuts are harvested to make delicious peanut butter. See you in the next videos and thank you for watching.